Gant's Mill in Somerset, Western England, has been harnessing water power for nearly a millennium. Over the years, the water that flows in through these filters has been used for preparing wool and silk and for grinding corn. And now, it powers a turbine generating enough hydroelectric power to supply 10 homes. In this space here, there used to be a water wheel. It was replaced in 1880 by um, a turbine at the bottom of this uh, uh, pipe here. And the new turbine is at the bottom of the, this pipe here. So it's in the space that the old water wheel took up. There is nothing had to be changed here. The shinglers have two electricity meters, in and out. The electricity we generate goes into the national grid and then we buy our own electricity in the usual way from the national grid. So we send them a bill and they send us a bill, but we do better. As well as paying for renewable energy at a better rate, the local electricity board, which happens to be EDF, gave a grant to a group of 10 mills in the area to install their turbines. It takes a good few years to recuperate the initial outlay. Of course, as a proportion of Britain's energy needs, these schemes are tiny. EDF's enthusiasm for it is a reflection of a growing imperative to be seen to be green. It is very small at this moment, but it's an area that's growing in popularity and awareness, and we feel it's very important to encourage communities to become involved and to be aware of the energy usage that they have. Miles Thistlethwaite, another member of the group, agrees. My guess is that if, if all such mills had small-scale generation implemented, you might make a difference of 1 or 2% of the total demand. But... Um, I think the other thing that's very important is, is the contribution to people's perception of, 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 of alternative energy. Mills are not an annoyance in the way windmills are. Using existing water mills has virtually no impact on the environment, since the infrastructure already exists. Across Europe, there are tens if not hundreds of thousands of mills that could be put back to use, showing that in the fight against global warming, the technology of the past can be made to work alongside new innovations.